but you are the very source of love yourself. The only, the reason you're not experiencing it all the time is because you're not looking inside yourself. You're looking outside and you've been trained to do that from very, very childhood. And it's not even your fault, you know. I don't want to sound like there's, it's your fault or my fault or your parents' fault. No. This is how it's designed to be, the whole thing. But now we are on a verge of awakening. We're waking up. The sleepy parts of us is waking up. It's coming out of this coma. Ah, I'm looking for love. I'm looking for my, to start for my partner because I feel lonely and uh, uh, it just keeps going around and round and round. What happens when you meet somebody and the spark is there and you just, your heart opens up and you feel like you're in love. You found, you found the one. What happens in that transaction, in that moment? What happens is the person that you met and you feel this strong love an attraction to is simply mirroring you. It's a mirror. It's mirroring you back the love that you have within yourself, the true love that you are. They're mirroring it back to you. You meet this person, you're a boy, you're a girl, you meet this person, and there's an explosion inside you. And there's this attraction, which is a very natural. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a part of our design. We're packed animals. And we need contact and other human beings to be healthy. We're not supposed to be separated from each other, even though we're on this path of being alone by ourselves to go all the way to the end, but we're packed animals. So that's very natural to see and be attracted to others. But what they do is the other person is triggers this, this love. It just press the button of the love that is within yourself. But since you are deeply brainwashed and programmed to project it on that person, so you're naturally thinking you fall in love with him or her. But you're not falling in love with him or her. He or she is being a mirror, is mirroring back. So that love that you're feeling for him is really the love that is inside yourself. That beauty, that amazing feeling that you're discovering is really what's inside yourself, is waiting to be discovered. It's been waiting for you to be discovered all of your life. And now you meet this person and this explosion takes place, and you think you're in love with them. So it's the object. Now you want the object, you want the person, because you believe that it's this person that makes you this, have these feelings. So let's say the person agrees and you merge in together, and now you're together. But since you're in a dimension that nothing is real, in the, in the objects, as far as the object goes, it can't be together all the time forever. So at one point you get separated. And let's say that you fall in love, you know, I fall in love with this woman, 
and I think this is the woman of my life, this is the one I've been waiting for all my life. You know, a year, two years, three years go by, and then at one point, she's not interested in me anymore. And she wants to walk away. She found the younger guy. She found a better model. She's bored with me. Whatever is the story. And she goes away. Now what happens when you love the person you're very invested and you're in love with and they leave you? We say, I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. I have been there. That I thought of killing myself because of the pain. I thought I can't live anymore without her. I couldn't imagine continuing life anymore without her. And you crash. And you go into the dark valleys of yourself. And it's a very painful experience. It's extremely painful. Anyone who's been heartbroken knows how painful it is. But you never were in love with her. It was your own self that you fell in love with. She didn't give you that love. She was only the mirror for you. As you wake up to self-realization, you begin to recognize this love is inside yourself and you start because your attention is turning inwards. This work that I'm doing is to turn your attention inwards, start to look inside. And as you start to look inside, you remember what I said many times, as your mind becomes quiet, you start to feel the bliss. You start to feel the love. That's the divine love inside yourself that when you fell in love with someone, he, she only mirrored the divine love that exists within yourself. And that's true love. So your attention is being turned inwards towards yourself. And what happens is what happened to me. I discovered my soulmate, my twin flame, the one that never leaves me, the one who is always here. That's the only woman in my life because she's the one that never leaves me, is always with me. And then when you discover that within yourself, then you become, begin to become whole. Because A, that sense of loneliness that you're not wanted or not accepted starts to disappear because you're drinking from your own juice. The fountain of love, you started to discover it within yourself. So you're, you are showered in this love of the divine self which is generated from your own self because this is where God lives inside you surrounding you. And slowly, slowly, it takes a little bit of time. It's not like sometimes, sometimes it could be immediate, sometimes it takes time. But for the, to unclutch from this ancient conditioning, from these thousand years old conditioning, to disconnect from that, it takes time. It's not sometimes immediate. So you begin to recognize this inside yourself, within yourself, around yourself. 